That's so Welcome neat. back. I love that effect you've got going I know, there, Trina. I love it, too. Okay, so we're having a very special show here for Halloween. I'm the queen of hearts. Off with a head, right? Yes, um, golly. <laughs> And uh, my very special guests here with us right now, who are having a gr way too much fun, I think. Um, we got Matt Asner and Nava Paskowitz Asner from the Ed Asner Family Center. They are here with us. We're all in costume because we're engaging in sociodramatic. Oh plays, yes, we are. Uh, which was our journey. Oh, I know of the that, day. what that means. So yes, uh, and uh, you've got big events coming up but the biggest one is happening on sunday yes uh, you're celebrating your dad's 90th. 90th birthday at asner's 90th birthday y'all that's that's a huge milestone yes. and is he excited about this yes i think he is very <laughs> excited about this. well a lot of it we've I kept think... a secret too so oh, he can so be he doesn't know but, a lot yeah about it. but you know some of it and, and i think he's really excited i think okay. he's yeah. you know Look, my dad is a kid at heart. Yes. He's a 90-year-old kid. Yes. And anytime you make something exclusively about him, mm -hmm. he's going like, to buy into up. it and right. get excited about it. So, well, right? I wonder who's like yeah. that. Uh, nobody. Nobody <laughs> oh, yeah, ever know. else but him. <laughs> um, but it is a wonderful evening mm -hmm. that is all to benefit the Ed Asner Family Center yes. because this is part of the legacy that exactly. Ed has chosen and that yep. you guys are fulfilling every day at the yep. center. It's absolutely the most wonderful place. Um, and and so it, it's I think it's we, we want to talk about the event, but I want to underscore it with the fact that everything is for the benefit of the Ed Asner Family yeah. Center mm -hmm. to keep the wheels on there and to make yeah. it possible it's to present the fundraiser program. for the year. Biggest yeah. fundraiser of and the year. So let's talk a little bit about at the event. N drop some names. Go ahead. We'll we'll make a fud noise. Okay. Uh, well, where's your uh, microphone? My microphone. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, I, look, we wanted to. Do it big, and yes. we always want to do it big, right? You're good at that. Uh, well, you know, I, we try. Yeah. We try. But um, so we wanted to. W w during our planning for this. Yes. You know, we were like, who who are we gonna who are we gonna honor? Who are we gonna honor? Who are we gonna honor? We tried to honor a couple people and it didn't work out, and so we were kind of like wondering what we we're gonna do. I'm gonna give Mike Darnell all the credit. Mike and Carolyn Darnell, all the credit. Uh, they came up with the idea of. Of saying, why don't we just do a birthday party for your dad? You know, this is 90 such years old. It's such a special birthday. It's such a big birthday. Yeah. Why don't yeah, yeah. you? I'd love to take credit for it, but I didn't. I didn't come up with it at all. Yeah. Uh, Mike and Carolyn Darnell came up with it, and uh, and they've been wonderful as has wonderful the entire people. committee. Yeah. You know, uh, for the event uh, and the board, and um, so we 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 basically planned this in four months. Yeah. Which is not a lot of time. No. For these kind of things. Uh, and we have an incredible night plan. We, we're doing it at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel yeah. on Sunday. Uh, we have uh, performing music. We have um, we have uh, Darius Rucker from and, Hootie and the Blowfish. From Hootie and the Blowfish, and well, he's also a big and his solo country artist. star. Big country yes. star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has a, a a song in the top ten right now in the country charts. Uh, we have um, Steve Lukather of Toto, who is like. Uh, my brother from another mother. He's an amazing guy wonderful. and has been so supportive, so supportive. And he's going to have some wonderful surprises uh, at the event. Uh, you might just hear some Toto songs, I think. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, and then we have um, Jackson Brown playing. So, so that's just the music. Okay? That's just the music. Then we're going to kick up the jams with a roast. And we're going to have a roast of my dad. It's going to be a birthday roast. And we've got these incredible people coming. We got Cloris Leachman coming, who's, you know, wonderfully unpredictable. I'm a mm -hmm. huge fan of hers. Uh, and so she's going to call him kid because she's a little older than he is. But, um, <laughs> she's then, not going to appreciate you saying that. Well, well it's, it's undeniable though. Um, then we have um, then we have uh, Brad Garrett and uh, Ed Begley Jr. and Rob Schneider and who am Dick, I forgetting? Dick Van Dyke. Dick, Dick, no, Dick's not coming. Oh, Dick's not no, coming. Yeah, him. Dick's not coming. Oh no! He's uh, so. he's unfortunately not able to come. Uh, but we have uh, just a, a tremendous amount of people giving giving this oh, roast. Oh yeah. And oh, and Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Oh, my gosh! From I forgot. How could I forget Luke Skywalker? Luke Skywalker. For heaven's sake. And the Joker. Uh, no, Mark that Hamill. Kill you. What? I Chris know. Would kill you. Um, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's okay. going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of star power there. It's going to be it's going to be a blast. It is going to be a blast. And so I, I'm hearing that it's pretty much sold out. We are totally sold out. Okay. So, uh, but 
people, I, can I plug that we're going to be live on your red carpet? So of if you course. can't go to the event, you should watch us live on the red carpet. Uh, we will have mayhem there because, you know, we you know, we are not able to switch away from camera to camera. It's all there. Oh, it's all awesome. live. And I'm told, Trayvon is telling me that we will be live on Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitter. Whoa. Um, awesome. so is there a Periscope anymore still? There, there is still Periscope. Periscope. Still people wow. do Periscope. I'm surprised. So no. that I'm told that we will be live on all those. Uh, if you, you know, uh, we've never been live on all of them in one event before. So if you're having trouble, make sure that you divert back to Facebook. But I'm told that we will be live on all four of those. But awesome. I don't know what time we'll be starting. Do you know what time? Well, the red I think the red starts? carpet five starts at five yeah. o'clock. So. so five o'clock. So mm -hmm. right at five o'clock. I know we have a watch party set for people to watch us on the red carpet. Obviously, you guys will be there, so we will be. We won't be watching, but we'll be taking. Yeah. Part. No, you'll be there, and um, and those of you who've watched red carpet before, stupid things come out of my mouth. It's kind of fun. Uh, and it's wonderful. And there's wonder no filter. But it's wonderfully unpredictable. Yes. It's good. Uh, what I could, I was trying to think of a couple of weeks ago. I was trying to re remind people about it was when it, it what I always is it Gary Busey? Is it Gary Busey? <laughs> oh, yeah. So when we were on the red carpet for the the poker tournament. Uh, you know, I'm there, and I don't. Everybody else is starting and stopping, but I can't. So I fill in between. And Gary Busey kept walking and standing directly in front of the camera oh, as boy. I'm talking. That sounds like something I would and, do. And, <laughs> yeah, and that's my <laughs> denim. I accused you guys, the denim and diamonds, yeah. of doing the Gary Busey. But so, and then I would, and I would say, oh, we have Gary Busey here, but he would be too close, so all you could see is his jacket. And I couldn't get. And I would be like, Gary, can we talk to you? And he'd be like, I'm, uh, you know, he's looking for somebody. And so then he would dart. <laughs> off and um but he just kept doing it and then eventually uh then he asked me to get him something to drink so oh my gosh <laughs> like it was just it was like my moment with gary Busey. um it happens people walk in front of the camera it's very confusing but Something will happen at this, I guarantee you. never know what's going to happen. The previous poker tournament yeah. was when I was, was interviewing uh, Randy Rainbow. Oh, yeah. And Lou Diamond Phillips said, wait, I want to shine Randy Rainbow's shoes while Andy Dick was hurling insults at him. And oh, we have the whole gosh. thing live on it, Facebook. Isn't it amazing how <laughs> big great. he's become? Randy Rainbow? Yeah. Yeah, he's touring now. He's huge. I'm sorry he couldn't Randy be with Randy us. Randy. Huh? I know. We asked him to be here. But yeah, he's so he's funny. On, he's on tour. He's right. touring all he's over the very, place. He's very, and he's got an album out right now. Yeah. Uh, Girl, It's Christmas. But G-U-R-L, Girl, yeah. It's Christmas time. Um, I can't wait. And it's got all these people that he sings songs with. Oh, yeah. It's very people exciting. love him. Yeah, well, he's truly wonderful. Um, so anyway, so that's, uh, so on Sunday. But if people wanted to support and they're not able to go to the event, but they're like, I want to donate to the Ed Asner Family Center, what's the well, best? We have way to a do wonderful that? silent and live auction too. Yes, they we can, do. Oh, they can, can people uh, participate in that yes. online? Well, they can. They can go to our website and go to the event page, and oh. it's all there. And mm -hmm. you can register to bid. And actually, there's some really cool things there because uh, a, a friend of ours, uh, he's become a really good friend, mm -hmm. um, Gary. How do you pronounce his last name? I'm sorry, Gary. He's watching right now. Bill, hey, Bill Gary. Dow, Bill Dow. Bill Dow. Gary. 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 The fabulous Gary. The fabulous, the fabulous Gary. Dr. Fabulous Gary. Dr. Gary. Gary. Brilliant Dr. artist, Dr. Gary. Dr. Gary uh, has uh, done original paintings wow. of mm -hmm. these iconic roles from my father's career. So oh. you have paintings from the uh, from the Outer Limits to JFK. It's incredible. To Roots, Rich Man, Poor Man, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, all these made iconic it. roles. Who was he in JFK? He was Guy Bannister in JFK. Oh, and he got to fun. kick uh, uh, Jack Lemmon's butt. All right. Pistol whip him. All right. Oh, wow. And he actually connected once. Well, so. oh, oh, dear. That's not good. But, uh, <laughs> but all these iconic roles, uh, so they're these kind of wonderful, cute paintings. One of a kind. Wow. Of, uh, of all the iconic roles. And uh, so those are up for bid. Um, okay. We also have stuff like um, experiences, like there's a sushi oh. feast and... Uh, all sorts of things. All sorts of things. And and I know that you know sometimes people are like, oh, you know, I'm probably not going to be. Able. You should look to see before you decide yeah. because as people bid, you know, sometimes you get a really good bargain. Yeah. But if people aren't going to bid, but they just like, let's say that somebody's watching and they'd like to give twenty dollars, you've got There's a place for them to of do that. Course. Two ways to do that. Okay. You can go to our, our website and go to the donate page on our website uh -huh. and just enter a donation in there. And we're also going to have a campaign that's going to start on Twitter and Facebook and social media in the next probably a couple of days, like right around the event, uh -huh. um, where you can actually text in a donation okay. specifically 
to say happy birthday to Ed. Oh, so, how wonderful. Um, that, that'll happen um, most likely uh, day before, day of the event. Okay. And it'll carry on through his birthday, which is November 15th. Okay. So it'll be like a two-week kind of like thing. Birthday honoree. Yeah. Two-week campaign. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, and you can say happy birthday that way. Fabulous. Yeah. What a wonderful thing. Okay, so we're going to take a short break, and then we're going to come back and talk a little bit about what the center is up to now and what's a little bit in the future, um, what kinds of classes people can get into now, and, I, and if you guys are doing any, because I, I know there's a holiday party, mm -hmm. and, uh, so we're going to cover all of that. Stick Great. with us. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Autism Live on Halloween. I'm the Queen of Hearts. Off with her head. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm glad you didn't say off with his head. Right. Well, that's so. really what I want to say. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> but that's not appropriate. And I have my, <laughs> my flamingo uh, right here, so uh, we'll be playing croquet later. I love uh, it. I, the, you, yeah, did you get to see before you came into the studio any of the mayhem that's happening? Because yeah. we, our studio is here at the Center for Autism and Related Disorders headquarters, and they participate in Halloween hard. Big time. I oh, know. Like, you, like Everyone. Oh, I saw that. No, no, no. Yeah. Like, it's gotten worse since you came in here. I love well, it. Well, you'll see it later. Um, and there are costume contests. environment. And, and there are contests about if your de whose desk is decorated the best. You're, really? Oh, wow. Oh, Who it's started off that? the chain. Uh, you know, our, our fear Fearless leader Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet loves Halloween. Mm. Um, it's always been a thing that she encouraged because of the sociodramatic part. Yeah, that's play great. And so it used to be that even at headquarters, it was also a place where kids. That's where our son was treated. Was that was what was headquarters? And so the therapist always dressed up, and she made a big deal about it. Now that centers are further away, everybody was afraid that when they sort of separated corporate from a center, that it, we would be all very staid and she was like oh no we're still participating in Halloween awesome. and she sets the tone and she and she says to everybody I expect for you to bring uh, your A game uh, um, so people bring it well, uh, Nava's bring really it. into Halloween are you? I, I kind of got out of it I wasn't like like a big fan of Halloween but we had our Halloween event oh. last weekend. And can I tell you, you were, I, did, I wouldn't have recognized you. Yeah. I, I yeah. had so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and the whole reason I did that is because when I was a kid, I, I, uh, there was a woman who had a haunted house uh, down the street from us. We always saved her a house for last. Uh huh. So we, her name was May Lichtig, and she, she did this whole thing oh, up. May. And she was a witch. She was always a wicked witch. Uh -huh. And I thought, you know, I thought, wow, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do something like what she did when I was a kid. Terrifying Because it was like, children. it's ingrained in my memory. Yeah. And when I think of Halloween, I think uh, May Lichtig. I think right. that's that's what Halloween is. And and uh, so you we had a great it. time. We had a great time. And, and great time. the center was amazing. Yeah. But I would not have recognized Matt. You were a witch. I was. And, and the, I stood there for a the long. The witch of the center. Right, and yeah. I stood there for the longest time, and I was like, "Who is it? Who uh, is in the uh, witch thing?" Yeah, I saw and the people, I saw the wheels turning. Right, on, and I was like, "Who? I w I don't think I would have ever have guessed that it was you because your voice was substantially different." Yes, and like I've learned a lot of things about you over the years, like the fact that Matt is a brilliant singer, <laughs> that you are, you. but and and you don't sound like. If you I do you don't say like when he opens his mouth and sings, it is not the sound that you would expect to come from Matt, right? No. Like it just isn't. And I haven't seen you perform live, but I hear it's super fun, super cal, a fragilistic it's, fun. It's excellent, right? Yeah. Um, like he has a CD, uh, like you guys. So, I do. so he's a real uh, in a real band two, in a two, real two, two CDs. CDs. Um, you should get uh, uh, Grand right. Manor for people who want to look. Grand Manor or Insect Idol, either one. Oh. There's, well, there, oh, okay. I haven't heard the answer. I, I haven't heard it. You're holding out on me. Yeah. Um, but I, I know that you also, I, I think we've talked about before that you have done some acting too, but just seeing Long you ago. do that, I was like, ah, I see the actor. Mm -hmm. Because the way you can manipulate your voice, not everybody can do that. I'm a bit of a ham. I Whoa. am a bit of a ham. I, I know, I loved it. It was great. And, and being in makeup and it's fun. being. You know, so, so socio dramatic play. play. I mean, it was it was hard work. It's a hard uh, work it was, it was, to say. Yeah, it was really it was it was it was joyful for me. Exactly, and it was you know letting seeing, all the stress no and like, seeing, dissolve. You become behind. someone else. Yeah. You get to leave your There's stuff behind. No problems. Yeah. All your right. problems are you know over there. Right. For yeah. a while, and it, and it was just this wonderful thing, and uh, you know it was fun kind of seeing who recognized me, who didn't recognize yeah. me, and it was it was just a lot of fun. And I thought you were Moana, and you're like, no, I'm just a Hawaiian girl. 
<laughs> but I, I thought you I, were in Milan. I was like preparing up until the last minute, and so I just like did the easiest thing. Your I could. costume. The was funny thing was about about Nava's costume though is she comes out uh, uh, in this wig, and it's it's literally her color. The, the, yeah. It was her color, so it didn't look like a wig, but it was bangs. So and she, she looked totally different. Like yeah. the shape of your face was yeah. different. It, it was, was crazy how different you looked. It was yeah. horrible. No, <laughs> no it wasn't great. at all. It was I fabulous. Hated it. But it was wonderful, and and the party was wonderful, and you yeah, guys broke fun. your we necks to make it so fun for everybody. It was really event. wonderful. But that's just one of the many things that you do with the center. Mm -hmm. I loved these Saturday events that you do, mm -hmm. um, and there's food, and sometimes a movie is playing, or or, or something else is going on it, it makes it a place and I we had to leave early from the Halloween party but I and I felt bad because a lot of the older kids were just starting to get there yeah. as yeah. we left and I'm seeing that it is turning in to exactly what you wanted it's a place where everybody comes yeah everybody so. comes it's I, a center it is a center and I think that um, like you said it's a place where people feel um, like it's a home away from home. Yes. And and so we want to extend that and really um, make it a place for every age group of the family. Yep. And so our last last month we had a, our first 21 and over social club and that was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing how the kids just like felt like, "Oh, this is exactly what I was thinking about because I know there's a lot of social clubs that have been uh, attempted but they end up being um, not exactly what the kids want and so one of our board members their, her daughter is our social director right. and she's autistic she wa went around and worked with uh, myself and our mental health director Chris Assad and really polled the kids the the adults and said what do you want out of a social club so um, this is something that is very important to me that all of my programs are either parent um, created, driven, um, that we're able to really um, not just create something for a revenue stream, but right. create something because it's wanted and needed and the parents don't find it in the community today. Right, right. And driven for those programs that are for the, the individuals on the spectrum, mm -hmm. driven by what they're wanting too, which exactly. is Exactly. Well, I mean, 50% of my instructors are autistic adults which is so amazing. it's they're very... walking the talk you guys which is is really amazing so let's talk about well because we're running out of time now let's talk about what's happening at the center right now because you have classes yeah. all the time yeah six days a week we're open um saturdays and sundays after school we're all we're always there. open <laughs> what is I the day that there. you're not there fridays, fridays we're closed the fridays but so monday through thursday you have mm -hmm. things that are happening in the after, after school, school hours and right? we Weekends and um, we have everything from can ballroom. Announce, can you announce your new class? Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to announce my new class. I, I love that. The, so we the have coming in we have um, a seasonal amazing class. Our art program is run by our eldest Aviva Pasquitz, who's brilliant. Who's brilliant and really just um, you know she has five little brothers, three with autism. So she has a lot of experience with autistic and special needs kids, but she's also an incredible artist. She did all the murals in our center. Um, and she's doing a new arts and crafts program that's seasonal. It's called uh. um, Art um, Aviva and the Elves. So she's gonna turn the entire art program and art center into uh, Santa's workshop from Elf. Oh. Um, and we're hoping that Ed will visit at some point Santa, in December. Santa, come, right? Come on. Um, yeah, but that's going to be, a, I think, a really um, fun class. And so kids are going to do a lot of stuff related to the holidays and Thanksgiving and then go on into Hanukkah. Look and, at that. And, uh, Look at the picture she's put and up. And Christmas. That is so cute. Yeah. Fishing Aviva head. and her elves. So that's I on Saturdays um, okay. from 12 to 1. And that's going to de be debuting in the next uh few weeks okay and so and on Sunday Saturdays and Sundays you, you like everything under the Sun yeah ballroom uh, dancing voiceover uh, science movement class. Therapy. oh it's like amazing Comic sketchy book science making. sketchy yeah. science right so uh, there's something for everyone mm -hmm. uh, like if you honestly were to look at the array of classes that they have and say there's nothing here for me I would want to know what it is you want and I'm sure that they would want to know too because yeah. there's we everything do. and under then we'll the create sun. it and that's just that's just one page 
page of it, and it's mm -hmm. like two pages. So, um, but then the, are you doing uh, uh, anything while kids are on break over the holidays? Yes. We're gonna we are. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. We're going to be open uh, for the, in well, school lets out on Friday this year. And so it, most kids are getting the entire week off for holiday uh, oh. Thanksgiving break. Oh. So we are going to be open for most of uh, the Thanksgiving break. Um, our, our Camp Ed, our very successful Camp Ed, is coming up January uh, 6th through the 10th. And it is a weird date, but LAUSD has an almost month off. So the LAUSD parents won, won the battle this year, and so we're going to have it later in the month so they okay. can benefit from that. We are going to have our holiday party on December 14th that we're all going to do together. Yes. Uh, and, and in fact, Autism Live is going to mm -hmm. be partnering with you yep. guys mm -hmm. uh, to provide, because we, we, we do our Sensitive Santa, Autism Live does, at um, a We Rock the, the Spectrum gym, kids' gym, but we have always had... Uh, started to foray into other events and so we um we're going to be coming and mm -hmm. bringing some of our gifts we'll have santa we'll, we'll have hanukkah harriet and harriet. we are going yeah i'm going to be hanukkah oh, harriet okay. he's going to be santa okay wonderful um and um and our next uh 21 and over social club is on november 17th so any adults um parents of uh, adults, when? they definitely should call us and, and make a res reservation. When is the holiday party? Um, 14th. December 14th. December 14th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So that's a lot of stuff. And there is a cost for the classes, but mm -hmm. it's lower cost than anything else that you would get mm -hmm. anywhere else. We have a introductory rate of $20 for any of our classes. Some of our specialty programs are 25 but it's very cost effective. I think that for me was the most important thing yeah. um, along with our counseling which we have availability for mental health services right now if anyone needs to reach out and just get a little support um, please call us 818-302-0712 uh, and uh, talk to us um, and talk to Chris Asad our mental health director um, for more information and there is good news about that as well and that that, that is that we'll be starting to accept insurance in the new year Which is wonderful uh, at, at uh, some some point in the new year we're working on that yeah. and uh, insurance will be part of the picture and and I understand from when Krista was here that until that time there is a sliding scale that Correct. yes could and it's very sliding yes. it's very sliding we don't we have not yet and this was my absolute requirement we have not yet turned a family away for um, because of their ability to pay I was very excited a little over a week ago I got to go uh, see the lemur mom yeah uh, they were doing the play oh, at CSUN so sad and it was wonderful yes. if you guys get an opportunity to go see Definitely. it or have them come uh, it was really wonderful and um, before the performance they spoke a little bit about some of the programs going on at CSUN, but one of the things that they said they were proudest of is how they're partnering with the Ed Asner oh, Family awesome. Center to great. provide mental health for families and how exciting that that, that was for them. Happy. And I was like, look at that. That's just full circle. Yeah. Look at That's how great. all these things come together we're proud of it too. and are wonderful. Yeah. Um, but isn't it nice? You know, I w when people are saying nice things about you behind mm -hmm. your back, I always like to spread that around and let you know that, yeah. oh, they said nice things about you. So uh, truly fabulous. All right, what have we left out? Because we have three and a half minutes. You have three and a half minutes. What do you want to talk about? Oh, I, I think uh, mostly just that people need to see the center. It's still, yeah. um, we, you know, we really want to get the community outreach. We can't do this alone. We just want people to know that we're there. We're in Reseda, California, 7915 Reseda, um, Lindley Boulevard. Um, Beautiful center. We, Come visit. We, uh, we want you Come to visit. call us first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's we'll good. take you on a tour. Yeah, but just come and see the center and try a class. Yeah. we've had so many kids who have just come down to take our family ballroom class, where the whole family comes and dances with the most amazing teacher I've ever experienced for uh, ballroom dancing. She gets everyone going. She gets um, us going. She gets right. Matt and I have done it. Uh, we have family yoga, where the entire family can do yoga together. Um, there's something for everyone and to just come down and try it and um, really just experience what we Matt and I you know this this has been 10 years in the making 
our dream, you know, we have six kids, three with autism, and we wanted to find a place where parents and their kids and the grandparents and everyone can come and just enjoy. But don't forget that on Sunday night, they're doing the Ed Asner birthday party. Yes. The 90th birthday party that that's happening. Mm -hmm. You guys can tune in at 5 o'clock. Uh, yes. Start on Facebook, but you probably can be on YouTube, Periscope, or mm -hmm. Twitter to watch as well, and you'll get to see That's... some of the stars on the red carpet with us, including awesome. Matt and Nava and Ed. Presumably, mm -hmm. Ed will be on the red carpet. Um, God and willing. I hope so. <laughs> I, would, I would think so. Right? Um, that would, that would so, be strange. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. So uh, we'll uh, be able to bring you at least a portion of what's happening that yeah. night, That's and then so of course great. we'll talk about it on Monday. Um, on Monday we are doing a live show. A lot of times we do a pre-recorded, but we're doing live on Monday. I yes. have to say something. Yes. No, I just want to thank Center for Autism for supporting the uh, the event because they they are a family sponsor. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Well, that's thank Doreen. you, Doreen. Dr. Doreen Grant. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it all. I, I love how when everybody plays well together mm -hmm. because yes. it's all for the greater good. So uh, tune in to see that. I'm just about to be out of time, but I just want to do uh, like a 30 second plug here for how to enjoy this holiday, no matter where you're at, no matter what's happening. Because holidays are hard. We all have this mm -hmm. expectation. We have a, a holiday that we're chasing in our memory, right? Yeah. Or an expectation of a holiday that we thought was going to happen, mm -hmm. where our kiddo was going to wear the costume, and they were going to trick-or-treat with the other kids, and the other kids were going to be accepting of them, right? Mm -hmm. There is this saying that expectation is planned resentment. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I could just say to everybody, myself included today, to let go of the expectation of what it's going to be like, what you wish it was going to be like, mm -hmm. what you thought it was going to be like, and to just find a way to be, we usually on Thursdays do a mindfulness moment, to find a way to just at some point today be mindful of where you are and think about all the things that you do have, not focus on the things that you don't have. Because, right? Sage advice. Yeah. Sharon. Right? Because it's so hard sometimes. We, you know, I, and I know. I bow. To your sage. <laughs> no, because it's because like because you're so mindful. They're so well, but they're like we all know we're gonna get caught up. I already had that oh, moment this course. morning yes. where I was trying to get this on. Mm -hmm. You can imagine, and my son was wearing this costume that had 700 pieces to it. That you know, and everybody was like, ah, and, and then it's itchy, and they want to take it off the minute right? you put it on. And and my husband was like, all I want is a picture of you in that crazy <laughs> makeup helping him put on his costume so that we can, mem you know, and like mm -hmm. we got every, but then there was just one little moment. And, you know, it's like taking that little snapshot. You, we don't have to remember all the, uh, yeah. just take a mental, and I'm not even talking about physical, although that's fine too, but a mental sna snapshot of, oh, this, because our kids will never be this age again. Mm -hmm. We will never be this age again. Uh, and if you can breathe today, uh, even if you can't walk five steps to trick or treat, mm -hmm. you're, you're breathing. So there's something to be grateful for. Yeah. Let everything else go. Let it be what it's going to be and enjoy because it's a holiday. And we have others coming. Yes. And take it easy on the candy. <laughs> yeah. You'll be uh, thankful for that. Yeah. Everyone's sick on November 1st. Yeah. Which happens to be our five year anniversary. <laughs> oh, Happy right. anniversary. Yeah. yeah. Five years five tomorrow. Five years. Five years. Oh, yeah. you're just babies. <laughs> We're just, <laughs> you're just babies. What a, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, Jim and I will, uh, we're, we are 17 years this year, so we're kind of babies, too. This is, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who have been married a lot longer, but five years is a milestone. Mm. It is. It's That's, a good one. All right. We are totally out of time now. Now I've gone over. Traven's not speaking to me. Uh, happy <laughs> Halloween, everybody. Thank happy you Halloween. To, to both of you and to the Ed Asner Family Center. Make sure that you're with us tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the fabulous Jill Woodworth, uh, who is the host of TSC Talks. We're going to tell you what that is tomorrow. And we start the Festival of Toys tomorrow. You're Yay. not going to believe it. It's going to be so awesome. Tune in then. Until then, give your kiddos a hug for me and one for you, too. Bye-bye for now. Oh, for now. Hey, thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.